Show us your tips for the, what's the date on Saturday? 15th, 15th of August 2020. Um, we're back, Beaver, in the Beaver Bar tonight. Yes. We're back Beautiful, to the bar mate. to celebrate uh, spring racing being upon us. Yes. Uh, Group 2 PB Lawrence Stakes Day in Melbourne, which is the traditional kickoff to the Melbourne Spring Carnival. And um, some good racing in Sydney as well. Unfortunately, um, the other th- with spring in the air, the other thing in the air is the rain. So <laughs> there's plenty of wet around. I know. Wet time in Sydney, and it looks like more's coming tomorrow. But um, can only do what we could do. We had a, a pretty good day Wednesday, didn't we, Beaver? Yeah, we've right? got, um, got a few winners that we ticked there, mate. So yep. uh, first two weeks we're to the new season are flying. Yeah, we're looking all right there. We've um, we updated the spreadsheet today. So oh, yeah, you nailed it on with your best bet. $14 yep. on so we, we landed in good health. He, she was good to us. And, and the quaddy. And the quaddy. So um, going for a quaddy hat trick today, Beaver, and means you're, you must be due for one. Oh, so, <laughs> so, so you're in charge of Sydney today. I will do Melbourne. Um, okay. But uh, plenty of good horses, plenty of first up horses, which makes it interesting. The uh, the fit horses versus the good horses, I suppose, yep. is the especially on uh, testing tracks. But uh, as usual, we'll kick off in Sydney. Roundwick rail out 11 metres. Heavy nine at the moment, rain coming, so it's going to be bottomless. Um, it didn't really happen last week, but I got a feeling the outside fence is coming. The outside yeah. fence day is coming at Roundwick soon. Before we do get into it, Dougie, yep. you've been on this pro group racing site that's uh, we're oh, yeah, we have to looking that. after us, yep. and uh, we're looking after them with some tips. Yep. So it's pro group racing, things, isn't it? yeah, it's def- uh, the site looks fantastic. It's up and going. More news coming, plenty more features and tipping and um, and uh, odds offers and all sorts of things from the corporates. Through Pro Group Racing, so excited to be working with the crew there, and uh, hopefully for a long time. And if we keep finding winners, I'm sure they'll keep us around. So yeah. that's exciting. So ProGroupRacing.com, if you're listening to this, and uh, if you're watching it on the website, check out the rest of the features there. And um, hopefully, and I believe their social media stuff's coming soon. So plenty of interaction, and yeah. we'll have a few more questions and the like coming in the uh, in the near future. And but if yeah. you want to show us your tips, put them on our uh, Facebook. Definitely. Page. So you can find show us your tips on Facebook. Pro, Pro Group Racing on Facebook. Uh, and uh, we'll try and, uh, especially heading into spring, try and get our social media up and going and yeah, give a bit more coverage throughout the day on a Saturday afternoon. Well, let's tip winners. That's yeah, let's do that. Up. All right, let's try this. So as we were saying, rail 11 metres on a heavy at Roundwick. How do you approach the meeting in Sydney this week? Yeah, I think probably looking for horses that are going to be up towards the front yeah. early in the day um, and see how the, the track then it, pans out. It's, that's how it's played for a yeah. long time now. Um, like I said once rail gets out and out and out, the outside fence does cut, start coming into it. Two weeks ago, I think um, Brett Davidella tried on sweeping statement and it didn't really come off, but um, I guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll know by race six which way we're going. Um, I've sort of worked on that, but let's go. Let's kick off the quaddy yep. with a 1,000 metre benchmark 78. Uh, how does the market read here? Theory, $3.80 favourite. De Grawen. Five dollars, Mister Mosaic five fifty, Fanciful Dream six dollars, Sangria seven, Beach Baby nine dollars, and plenty the odds are the rest. Lead us off, mate. How are you starting off, mate? Good, tricky affair. Mm. Um, real, real hard to get a line through some of this form. Uh, De Grawen at five dollars is one that's last three, so winning form's good form this time of the year. Yeah, mate. I've gone for the top weight, Sangria. Okay, seven dollars. Uh, I just think. Uh, Snowden should have this horse um, at its cherry ripe uh, fitness for this. First up wasn't too bad, but I think it'll sit up on the pace, may even lead, um, and I think that's at seven dollar mark in a pretty open field. I yeah, think it's a good chance. I was keen on it. Um, it. I'm going to do this for you now, please. Mate. Oh, you'd like to? Yeah, we're socially distanced, but that's fine. Um, the first up run, I was keen on Sangria. I know it was a heavy track, and but. Once it got past net race, the only thing I say is Tommy Ray put it away straight away. He watched yeah. the replay, he put that horse away. So the margin probably unfair to it. Um, it's dropped back in grade. Uh, on pace of back in grade is always a tick. Uh, I'm going to go to the first upper, which I'm sort of loath to do, but I really like the trial of a theory. Yep. And this is a race I um, couldn't really get my head around beyond that. A lot of winter horses here, and I think a theory... Been running around in better races than this for a long time. Back to a benchmark 78, trialled alongside Flit and some other good Godolphin horses and trialled quite well. Uh, I'm going to lean that way. Gate 11, J-Mac on board. If the if the slingshot to the outside is working, that it's the time of day for that on the hot pace. Uh, so I'm starting with a theory. Um, but I see sang, uh, Sangria, and I think uh, and uh, the trial of Mr. Mosaic was tremendous as well, yes. but I don't know what you've what, what is under the bonnet there, really. Yeah. 
Um, two good wins, went out with a second, but the trial uh, led it, led and won a trial by eight and pretty much looked in second gear. So Certainly a tricky affair to start. So <laughs> we've named three horses, but I think I think they're the key three. Yep. Um, and when you get to Quaddy, I'm sure they'll two or three of them will get a mention. Uh, race seven, the good horses, are, or at least one very good horse, I think, and uh, some other very good horses, another good horses here in the up-and-coming stakes. For the three-year-olds, the resuming three-year-olds, uh, and the market leads off with North Pacific. Yeah, North Pacific, $2.20, Smart Image, $4.20, Yardstick, $5, $12, Holyfield, and keep 13 plus the rest. North Pacific's a good horse. Yeah. Uh, I'm with North Pacific here. It, I love the trial. It just it was a trial of a nice horse. Did you see just tick over its gears and roll through yeah. and uh, and work through the line very well, and this will probably start favourite in the Golden Rose way. Yeah. Where it's going, so it should be winning this. And uh, I think it'll be better when the the ground gets a bit firmer. Oh, definitely. But it did have the kill on the heavy, so yeah, yeah, it'll handle um, it. it'll handle it okay. But yeah, once you once this gets back on dry, this might be one of the better three year olds in the country. Two twenties worth grabbing now. I think so. I think um, because five to four to two twenty. There's. I had a bit of inside information at the last start, and the Hawk Stable reckon this is the best young horse they've ever had. Wow, That's which it. is big rap. That is a big rep. So if, if the rumor mill is right where it came from for um, me, that's you know that's a big rep. Yeah, uh, like a good horse. It, so. it trailed the way you want to see it trial. I'm resuming, and this isn't a lot of these are coming off, uh, albeit impressive, but they're coming off midweek form. Yeah, and um, Holyfield's going to be a bunny there. So I think North Pacific's. Well, when we get to that, will be one of my better bets of the day. Yes, nice and easy there. You don't have much to add. That's it, mate. For me, beautiful. How easy is the form on a Thursday night? Perfect. A um, lot of first uppers as we head into the race eight spring preview handicap over the fourteen hundred meters. Some Group One horses here, resuming against some up and comers as well. How's the market read? Yeah, it reads four dollars sixty. The Inform Man of Peace, uh, Pancho at five dollars, Shared Ambition five fifty, Dancer Dance at six fifty, Order Again six fifty. Angel of Truth eight fifty, Noble Boy nine, Poetic Charmer nine fifty, mate, you make me smile nine fifty. Lots of under ten dollars the field. Yeah, like. um, this market's going to be interesting. Come, I think track pattern's going to have a have a play yeah. here. Come the time of jump, uh, how have you lent here? Tough, 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 tough race um, to get a line through. Um, again, if if it's on pace and the leaders are winning, Man of Peace will probably start. Three dollars. I noticed it's already drifted. Actually, just yeah. Well, no, four eighty into four sixty. Oh, it's five fifty. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, you got somewhere five fifty. Nice. nice. Mm. Sports bet apparently. Oh well. Are we allowed to talk about who's who? Oh, yeah, why not? Okay. It's my show. Um, I'm going Pancho. Okay. Wow. At five dollars first up. Wow. Oh. Cool. You don't like it? No, I just didn't even look at it to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's low down in the weights. Uh, it's, it's you know. Six, he's got six kilos. Uh, man of pieces giving it, and nine kilos shared ambition. And I think it's tr- it's I think it's had a reasonably decent trial. It did actually it trialed fine. Um, two starts, two preps, but other oh, prep before last, it read quite well um, yep. down in Melbourne. Came up here and ran well. Uh, K O'Hara is not one I go looking for, but um, definitely looking for further. But uh, it's a sort of horse. He was fifteen bucks. So I'd be keen, and at six dollars, I'm less keen. But it's a really open market. It definitely, yeah. If, if there was a couple of hotter horses in it, but this isn't a, you know, order again six fifty. I just, I was going to ask you. So he's been one of yours. You done? <laughs> like had enough? Seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is fine. Which uh, this is, this is what creates a market, and it's a tremendous, it's a good betting opportunity if um if you get it right because this this would be probably six dollars a field. I mean, shared ambition five fifty is good price, but carrying sixty one first up in the wet, uh, we'll be looking for further. Will it be fully wound up? Don't know, and the heavy track. I just don't think it's it's won three out of four in soft, but heavy, it's around a, th- a third. So it goes okay. But funny you mention that because I'm going to tip uh, two horses here. Um, Shan Ambition's one of them, but the reservation I have is this is Chris Waller's not a first up trainer. This will be set for something in three months' time. Yeah, back end of carnival. But I think it's the best horse. Uh, the draws will suit at this time. And at the same price as Pancho, I think it's a better horse. Uh, the two runs in the wet that I looked at today, uh, one was a Doncaster, which doesn't count because it was um, you know, a 20-horse field and not much went right there. And the other one, 
So on this, where are we here? Is that pulled up? Uh, we're track here. It, and the other one, if better, you both. It goes better second up. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So three it's a best horse. Second up, so it, that's why it's a bit of a spec. Uh, if that um, it's the best horse factor. Um, obviously, man of peace flying, but the other one I mentioned that is flying is poetic charmer. Yep. Um, and it's been under my radar. The Snowdens haven't been as stable. I've um been involved with recently, but I think some of the horses are just starting to find form. It's going to be in the right part of the track as well, down the outside, uh, and it could be unbeaten this prep with a bit of luck. And uh, so around 9.50, that's the other one I went to there. But some class horses here, a lot of these Waller horses, I've got a feeling a lot of these Waller horses are, are just going to have a run here. I mean that in the least controversial way yeah. possible. Yeah. It's their first up run. Like your Dan's, Dan's, Dan's all the way through. They're going to be ready for spring, not ready for this. Uh, which brings Interesting his best jockeys on Dan's uh, dance. Yeah, I, I did notice that. But I think that's a connection to the owners. Right. I think that's a Kiwi connection thing. Okay. Um, Which would make sense. Yeah. I mean, Dan's um, and Dan's drawn 16, but yeah. Yeah. The tracks, how the track's playing is kind of play a little bit of mm. in this, but um, can't show for me. Okay, very good. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good tip there. What'd you tip? Uh, poetic Charmer. Right. And Shared, and shared Ambition. Ambition. But um, if rails are on, obviously Man of Peace is the fit. They're going to have to get past Man of Peace. Yeah. They're gonna make it, he's going to make them work, but I think class is, it's now the time of year where class is going to start. Which might help with a little bit of pace because man of peace. Yeah, you won't float. Yeah, uh, that's right. But um, it's now some of these first uppers are very good horses now. Yep, you can get away with it for a bit. Uh, but let's get into the last benchmark seventy eight colt for the uh, boys over the fourteen hundred meters. How's the market right here? Not faint hearted four sixty offshore five dollars. Matawatapi five dollars <laughs> fire trap six fifty. Shatira six fifty, Julian Rock eight fifty. I'm going to finish the day with uh, your little wet tracker offshore. It was good last start. It was good last. Start. Uh, track suits again. I think it's just a genuine wet tracker. So five dollar mark. I'm with offshore. Uh, the fire trap returned tremendously. Yeah. Great return under sixty two kilos. Just bolted in at Warwick Farm. Uh, it's always been a bit of a spruce course. It was a spruce course up in Queensland for a while, and I think it's obviously a wet tracker because the weight rent and a heavy tent at Warwick Farm, uh, it is the next best. But uh, I'll, I'll be having two bets in this race. I'll be playing them uh, both each way uh, to finish the day. How about yourself? I'm going to go Kathy Hara again. Oh, you're going back to Gary Portelli? Yeah, not not one of my favourites, but I thought not faint-hearted. Um, it's win last start. was hard Bolted in last start. And it beat Badoosh, who just came yep. out and won yesterday. Yep. Um, nicely as well, um, one by five or six lengths. It's going to handle the it's going to handle the sting out of the ground, and maybe it's just found form. So yeah, uh, again, it's not stable an is flying. Race. Yeah, yeah. So I think you know it's probably horse to beat there. Four sixty. I don't mind those odds. So that's one. For yeah. Me. Uh, yeah. The tail of the back end of this meeting is um. There's a bit of value. There's a bit of uh, each way value right through. I the think all the day. Way. Outside yeah. of Mask Crusader in the third, I think it is, yep. which is uh, two's on. Yep. Um, there's plenty of value. So, we, yeah, Hawks are trotting out two of their better horses. Uh, we're going to see where Mask Crusader is at. We're going to see where North Pacific is at, which is uh, exciting. Anything earlier in the day or? Nah, not for me, mate. That's it. Cool. I'm going <coughs> to press the cough button and um, obviously Mask Crusader is one. Um, I want to forgive Dancing Gidget last start. Quick back up. It was the leader's track last week, did it in, just was never going to win. Yep. Um, it's a winnable race. It's a winnable race. Um, so, I, uh, but that is what I want to mention earlier. $4 odd. Yeah, $4 there. Um, can bounce back, it will run well on the backup. But we get to look at, uh, do you want to do Quaddy now? Best bet first. Let's do Quaddy. All right, so Beaver's in charge of the Sydney Quaddy this week. Yep. How have you approached it? You're doing numbers. Do I have to write this down? You need to write it down or do right. the numbers I'll so write it down calculation. Here. All, All right. right. Probably should, shouldn't be too hard. No, that's right. Are you ready? Yep. My numbers are one. Yep. Three. Seven and nine. Yep. In the first leg. In the second leg. Straight out number two. Oh, okay. I'm Blonk. Yep. And then I'm going to go a little bit in the later legs. Yeah, I'm we going to go one. Two. Yep. Eight. Yep. Fifteen and sixteen. And how are you coming home? 
like a whirlwind. <laughs> I'm going to come home with two, yep, three, five, and seven. Five and seven. So we've got four by one by five by four. So it's 20, 80 combos there. Eh? 80 combos. So 50 bucks will get you the best part of 70%, yep. 60 odd percent. Uh, excellent, Beeb. So looking forward to that. So just to recap there, one, three, seven, and nine. North Pacific, one out in the second leg. One, two, eight, 15, 16. Home with two, three, five, and seven. Perfect. So let's get into our best and our value. So value runner of the day, Beaver. Have you got one for us? Oh, it's me again. You're all over me here, mate. Oh, do you want me to start? I'll do no, it. No, no. It's all good. Comes up in uh, race four, mate. I'm going for Willow Hut. It was scratch midweek for this. Uh, around $9.50. I tipped it yesterday. You're having um, a Cathy day. Cathy's going to ride three for you. She on that Saturday. Too. There you go. Yeah. She's all over it. Yeah. Look out. She's riding well, actually. Yeah. So not, not something I usually do. Um... But, yeah, that's my value, at nine, uh, about $10 at the moment. Uh, this is not something I normally do either, but my value uh, is going to be in the highway. I feel dirty even saying this out loud. <laughs> Northern Wilderose, race two, number eight. For CJ Graham, around the $12 mark, I think's running well and uh, is there to run well again tomorrow. Nikki Rose did bolt in. I think favourite's very is hard it? to beat. Northern Wilderose, race two, number eight, $12 mark there. Oh, yeah. I'll make a note of that. But the favourite is going to be hard to beat, I'll, I'll admit that. Yeah, but the highways, mate, they're a bit the of a The highways, country. exactly. Uh, your best of the day, I think we're in sync here. Yeah. We're okay. both declaring it. We're so, declaring. look, we'll do this so we can cut it out for Facebook and put it up as well when it wins. Uh, take the $2.25 North Pacific. It will win. It's a good horse. Yep. Uh, booking of J-Max and intention that I assume he's going to be sticking all the way through the campaign. Yep. Uh, but both Peter and I, best bet of the day, race seven at number two, North Pacific for the Team Hawks. And we'll have a quick and break. we didn't collude there either, mate. No, we didn't, don't. We never collude. No, that's it. Because so I don't want your tip. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll have a quick break now. We'll be back to look at uh, the... We've done everything. Yeah, my quaddy. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you did. Good work. Yeah. That's why I wrote it down. Oh, good on you. All right. PB Lawrence Stakes Day up next at Melbourne.